Flash Facts, Facts in a Flash. Thanks for watching Flash Facts. This week we will explore five interesting facts about the ionosphere. The ionosphere is a layer of the Earth's atmosphere that is ionized by solar radiation. This resulted in having some interesting attributes. Let's explore it. Flash Fact 1. The ionosphere is a 940 kilometer thick region of the atmosphere that contains the thermosphere, the exosphere, and the upper reaches of the mesosphere. It begins at an altitude of 60 kilometers and extends upward to 1,000 kilometers in altitude. Flash Fact 2. The reason the ionosphere exists is because ultraviolet light from the sun strikes air molecules in the upper atmosphere and ionizes or strips electrons from the atoms. This happens everywhere in the atmosphere, but at higher altitudes, specifically above 50 kilometers, the air density is low enough that free electrons and positive ions can exist as a plasma without recombination where the electron is captured by a positively charged ion. Flash Fact 3 the ionosphere consists of four main layers, the D layer at the bottom, the E layer, the E sporadic layer, and the F layer on top. At night, the F layer is the only one in significant ionization, but as the atmosphere moves to the day side, the F layer splits into two layers and the D layer becomes ionized. During the summer months when ionization is most intense, a layer within the E layer, the sporadic E, can form small thin clouds of extremely intense ionization that can cause radio signals to skip like a stone off this layer and extend the reach of radio signals by up to 2200 kilometers in what are known as E-skip events in the communication industry and the ham radio community. Flash Fact 4 and speaking of radio signals, the ionosphere is responsible for bouncing many types of signals back to Earth depending on the state of the layers and the frequency of the signal. We just talked about how the sporadic E layer can cause E skip and a more useful property is one of the F layer which remains day and night and is used for the transmission of high frequency or shortwave radio signals over long distances. During the day though, the D layer's lower level of ionization and higher density mean that radio waves have more effect on the electrons and this causes a weak weakening or attenuation of the signal, so a higher power signal may be required during the day to get the same signal strength at a distant station than as at night. Flash Fact 5 There are anomalies and perturbations in the ionosphere depending on the season. One known as the winter anomaly is a day anomaly that is caused by the seasonal molecular to atomic gas ratio in the atmosphere. This ratio change can be enough to cancel the effects of summertime ionization in the F2 layer, meaning that there can actually be more ionization in the winter winter when the sun's energy is less. Perturbations can come from the sun in the form of solar storm x-rays exciting the D layer so much that signals can't pass through it into the higher layers, causing radio blackouts. Lightning can also cause perturbances in the ionosphere so much that they may be featured in a future episode of Flash Facts. Do you want to see an episode about the anomalies? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Flash Facts. If you want to see more Flash Facts videos, then definitely like and subscribe. If you have any ideas for topics you'd like to see covered here on Flash Facts or anything else to say, let me know in the comments below. Flash Facts. Facts in a Flash.